It's a beautiful day. You and your friends are about to go on a boating trip for the day. You're all aboard. Lots of food, topped up with fuel, and it's time to shove off. A slight audible click is heard as you turn the ignition key on, but no start. Now what? Maybe you try again. Still nothing. You take a quick peek in the engine compartment to see if something is out of place. What am I looking for? I think we've all been there, even with our cars. Hello, everyone. My name is Stephen Muse. I am a certified marine engine mechanic, a fourth class marine engineer, and Red Seal heavy duty mechanic. I've been in the industry for many years and have experienced all kinds of mechanical failure on the open water. It wasn't long after a couple of years of working as a volunteer Coast Guard auxiliarist, I saw the need to better prepare and educate people for the many unforeseeable mechanical and electrical failures that happen on powerboat vessels, as well as other safety-related issues. Well, I decided to create and develop a course around first-time diesel boat owners and others alike that have little or no training on this very important subject of troubleshooting marine diesel engines and safety-related topics. I used the Power Squadron as a prerequisite to qualify for my course. The Power Squadron course has a lot of significant information related to marine terms and navigation, as well as many regulated safety requirements, making it possible to enjoy your boating experience. They are all over the country and pretty much in every city or township. Ownership of a marine vessel can be a costly venture most of which is due to the expense of maintenance. Many a boat owner, including myself, have had to reach real deep into the pockets to pay for some part or correction that could have been easily prevented by performing some simple maintenance procedures. Pleasure boat owners are not necessarily mechanical minded. They are more like the majority of car owners. Just a few of them know their engines beyond starting and stopping them. At least with a car, you can walk away from a stationary vehicle. If a boat breaks down even a few meters from shoreline, both its occupants and the boat itself are in great danger, and they're at the mercy of the weather and tidal conditions. The boat can quite easily end up on the rocks, all because the owner or operator did not know how to restart the engine. Small engine training is currently provided by many trade schools. They target students who want to become marine engine mechanics. The average boat owner may feel intimidated with too much detailed information in a course like this and do not have much of a desire to further educate themselves. Let's face it, boating is supposed to be fun and not inundated with so much technical information that we lose focus on the real reason we want a pleasure boat. The sun, the surf, the adventure. <laughs> a course to increase the safety and better understanding of basic troubleshooting should enhance this ideology. Which brings me back to the need for a more direct approach to the day-to-day -day functions of boat ownership. Let's not be overly concerned about deeper rooted problems that may or may not exist. The important thing is that we can learn to recognize if a deeper rooted problem exists after we have performed a troubleshooting method. The problem with most courses offered is that they target land-based engines and do not cover problems faced with operating these engines in a boat. Minimal effort has been placed on specific hazards and situational encounters in a marine environment pertaining to diesel engine operation and maintenance. The money savings of having the ability to perform regular maintenance duties is astonishing. Heck, if it was for this purpose alone, it is well worth the price of registration. BOAT usually stands for bring out another thousand. And don't forget the benefit of checking over your friend's boat before you embark on that day trip. The course I have designed is not only comprehensive, but fun. Most of the activities are task related and very hands on. This technique of learning will reinforce your proper troubleshooting sequence and build your self confidence which will keep on improving as time goes on. 
This is a 30 hour course that will be offered during the summer over two weekends. Classes are held in an announced school location on Friday 6 to 9, followed by Saturday and Sunday classes 8.30 to 3.30 p.m. Students will receive a certificate of completion and a troubleshooting journal in which the students themselves create. Students will participate in both classroom and shop environments to practice and then demonstrate the learned skills on a marine vessel. I will be instructing students on both pleasure and commercial vessels to really enhance lifelike settings. The teaching methods will include lecture, case studies, scenarios, videos, simulation, and demonstration. This course will include approximately 40% classwork and 60% demonstrated ability. Students require steel toe shoes or boots, as well as safety glasses. It should be noted that while in field training, appropriate clothing will be required depending on weather conditions. Coveralls will be provided on the second day of class. You know, the average boat owner is becoming more aware of why things work the way they do. Armed with this course, the participants cruising at sea can quickly and correctly locate and rectify the majority of operational problems and breakdowns that occur with their diesel engines. Thank you for listening.